What's up, YTPC? Philly Piper Mike here. Wednesday, July 25th. Uh, strange view, I know. This is uh, actually a car that I am selling. I drove it home yesterday just to kind of put it through its paces a little bit. And my car is get my truck was getting detailed, so I don't have my uh, my normal phone mount. <clears throat> So it was either not make a video or find a way to prop up my phone to make a recording. So my phone is wedged in between the uh, the steering wheel column and the dashboard and the instrument cluster. So hey, better than nothing. It is uh, 70 degrees going up to 93 today. Today I'm smoking my Radice, a uh, little bent 55 shape. Um, and for the life of me, I can't remember Toto, Toto I think it might be called. Um, my buddy Pascal had told me when I, you know, when I first got this that uh, they, they had named this shape after a famous, uh, an older, famous Italian um, actor that had a really distinctive chin. He was like the Jay Leno of uh, Italian actors. <laughs> but um, I think it's Toto. Um, if you look up Toto, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is the one I got from my buddy Steve Oster. And... Um, I'm returning the favor today. I, he bought my one of the Castellas from me, the slightly bent uh, old antiquary. I have uh, four of the pipes sold. So the Radice Silk Cut Hawkbill, the full bent smaller Castello. Um, the slightly bent Costello and uh, the natural virgin Radice billiard. So I have uh, I think I have three or four pipes left. Today I am smoking Freudberg and Trayer's Blackjack. Which I know nothing about. Um, I didn't even get a chance to you know, look it up just to see what it is. I mean, it's obviously some sort of Virginia, straight Virginia, I'm assuming. This was sent to me by my good buddy, Dan Seaman. Uh, we did a little trade. I had sent him, like I said, the uh, couple tins of the, the Wessex Brown Virginia Flake. He sent me uh, one tin of full Virginia Flake and another tin of um, uh, Brigade Dark Flake. And then, you know, usually I'm the guy that, that one-ups the people I'm sending stuff to. I throw in some stuff that, you know, adds a surprise. So I'd, I, I sent him a, a tin of something and... Um, some of that aged Solani 633 and then that jerk ends up throwing in a tin of wind jammer um, probably like a, at least a couple ounces of um, aged Peter Stokeby's Navy Flake from like 2014 this a couple bowls of uh, of the uh, 
blackjack. And then, um, I think the other one was like Latakia Rose. It might be even the McClellan blend, which I'm not familiar with. Um, and what was the other blend that he, oh, and um, some Old Dominion, which I love, which I have, I love. I smoked a bowl of that this morning. And I can't tell if he threw that Latakia bomb in there just to just to mess with me. I'm assuming he did because I, he knows. I'm pretty sure he knows that I don't like Latakia. Um, but I'm gonna try it. You know, I'll uh, I'll give it a whirl. It, it definitely. As soon as I opened that box, I was like, oh, what did he do? So he definitely went up to me. I was like, uh, I'll, I'm like, this is you know. He's like, oh, it's not over. He's like, from the sounds of it, you haven't really experienced too much um, age, age Virginia. I like, you know, I was like, you're right. I'm like, I don't have, I've, I haven't had much age stuff at all. I've had like a 2014, um, like a 2008 Escudo, 2014, um, Orlick, and then this this uh, Solani is definitely the oldest that I've you know that I've had. He's like, oh, I got some age stuff. I was like, yeah, I think I met my match. But if you don't know Dan. Um, or a, a, a lot of the other guys. Um, if you if if you're a pipe smoker and you haven't, if you're not on the New Age Pipe Smokers page, um, I highly suggest you hop over there and uh, and join that group. It's a great great group of guys. A lot of funny bastards on that page. Um, yeah, a lot of like just camaraderie, ball busting. Just fun. A lot of uh, great pipe carvers on there. Jim Gillespie, Ryan McCauley, just to name a few. I don't know what it is about this. Uh, can't keep this lit. It's not wet either. I don't know if I pack a little too hard, but. I mean, it's packed pretty tight, but. This, uh, this does remind me a little bit of um, Cut Virginia Plug. It's got like a little, that same Virginia taste, but it's like a different like casing. Really good, actually. I don't think I've ever had, I'm pretty sure I haven't had Blackjack. Um, I have, Cut Virginia Plug, which is uh, Dan's, uh, it might even be his favorite blend of all time. Dude loves that stuff. Um, which makes me want to go back and smoke some more of it. I'm going to smoke some today when I go home, when I go home from work, just to kind of <coughs> compare the differences. see exactly what uh get a little bit of like you, you know you definitely get that Virginia like the breadiness <clears throat> getting like a tinge of and I don't think it's artificial but like a little like vanilla type of kind of hard to put my finger on it's good though Uh, anymore, I mean, there aren't many Virginias that I don't like. I've been, I don't know why, and it's nothing like out of this world, but I've been smoking Peretti's Boston slices like crazy. I just ordered another pound of it. 
And it's just like a, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. Just a really good straight Virginia. Um, and I don't know if it's like another blend, like it's made by Sutliff or um, if it could be something else. It just like rebranded, but it's really good. I smoked that Old Dominion. I hadn't smoked it in a while because I, um, I'm not a huge fan. Of, like I've fallen out of favor of like the the crumble cake type of flakes, the stick ones. Um, like Peretti's number eight slices is like that. The, the Old Dominion is like that. Um, and I find it hard to pack. Like it, it, it either it's chunky or you rub it out and it turns into like, a, you know, almost like a powder. And then it like doesn't burn real well. But the stuff that, that Dan sent me was was more dry than the, than than what I have, and um, it definitely smoked better. So I think you know I'm gonna do that from now on. I'm just gonna let those blends sit out because when you get them in those big chunky flakes, flakes, I mean it's like a little pressed crumble cake kind of deal. But when you get them in those big fat flakes. Um, they tend to be pretty moist and that cut isn't conducive to being moist and smoking well. Which is why, I mean, because Old Dominion's a great vapor. I mean, it's really good. Um, I, I mean, I really wish it was in a flake, like a normal thin flake. If it was in one of them, it'd probably be one of my top, one of my top blends. I'd probably sell her the crap out of it, which I, I sell her, you know, but... It can be a little finicky. But yeah, black chat's good, man. Um, pretty mild, as Daniel would say. But I'm enjoying it. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Well, that's all I really got for you today. Um, I'm gonna get these uh, these four pipes in the mail. If anybody's interested in the other pipes I have left, um, let me know. I have uh, two more, at least two more Radiches. And one more Costello. Yeah. Pretty sure. That's what I got. Could be wrong about that, but... Um, I have that Radice Apple. I have that Radice Bent Billiard with the white acrylic stem. I have that Costello that's got a little bit of a, I kind of call it like a gooseneck type of deal. Um, so I know I definitely have those. Just making room for some more, for some newer. I don't know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get, you know, a couple of Costellos, a few Radices, one and two, or some seven. No, I don't know. I haven't really put that much thought into it yet. I mean, honestly, I don't really need new pipes, but if I was smart, I'd take all that money and I would uh, just buy tobacco, but... That's not as fun. It's the smart move. Just keep selling and keep selling, but it's not the it's not the fun move. I might do a little bit of both, you know, get a couple pipes. Especially if I get like a couple Radiches or just like one Costello, one Radice, and then if I sell all those pipes, I'm definitely gonna put some of that towards tobacco. Um
right now I got right now. Yeah. Two, four. Two, four. It's like 600, 600 bucks for those four pipes. Or 650. So right now, you know, and that's not selling the other pipes. That would get me, you know, two new Costellos or three Radice's probably. But anyway, all right, guys, I've rambled 16 minutes. Man, that was a quick 16 minutes. Definitely took me longer to get to work today. Remember, guys, the left lane is for passing, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.